guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very sleepy today because I've been in this wonderful routine in Australia where because I've been working so much, I haven't been able to stay awake past 9.30 at night. And two days into Vlogtober, and I stayed up to nearly 3 a.m. last night trying to edit and get prepared and everything, and I completely ruined my great routine of going to sleep at 9.30, 10, getting a decent like eight hours sleep and then feeling super fresh for the day. So today I feel groggy and croaky and a little bit rubbish, but pretty excited. I'm really pleased to be back on the YouTube bandwagon. It makes me feel like I'm being creative and productive and moving towards something in my future. I'm one of those people that always has to have a goal or something to do. If I'm just working for the sake of working, it feels really meaningless to me. So I always have to have something that I'm aiming towards. And the visa was that before, but now that I've applied for the visa and I'm just waiting to hear for the outcome and I can't really do anything about it, Vlogtober is a really good goal and to kind of grow the channel. I really want to get my channel up to 10,000 subscribers by January. I love the little community that I have here on YouTube and I want to spend more and more time on it. It really occupies my mind during the day when I'm doing my job and I'd like to be able to get it to a point where I can spend part-time hours on it. So that's what I'm hoping for. Today's video it's a little bit different to usual, only because I've not had this happen to me before. So recently I've started being contacted by some people who would like me to try out their products. So this is by no means a sponsored video in that I'm not being paid to do this. It was just sent to me as a free gift and they asked me to do a little video. They asked me to do a little video with my thoughts about what the product is like. For me, it's really important that products, if possible, try to be sustainable and, of course, are vegan. So, before I left for Australia, actually, I was contacted by a company called Carbon Coco, who are an Australian company that make natural teeth whitening products that are based out of charcoal coconut shell. Now, I was genuinely interested in this because I've always wanted to try an organic natural method for whitening my teeth. I am a big coffee drinker. It's just I didn't plan this, it's actually ironic <clears> that I'm drinking coffee right now. My teeth do get a bit discoloured and it's more noticeable because I actually have a veneer at the front. I broke my tooth when I was a little girl and as a result I can't go to a dentist and get my teeth whitened without having my veneer replaced. So this one has been matched to my natural tooth colour and when you're whitening your teeth it doesn't really go back to the natural tooth colour, it's generally lighter than your natural tooth colour. So I'm hoping that maybe if I use natural products that are like abrasive rather than bleaching that I'll have a better result and I'll be less likely to kind of create a massive shade difference in my teeth. So Carbon Coco have sent me this. So it is a little pot of charcoal coconut shell and it comes with its own little toothbrush. It sits inside the packaging there, I'll take it out. That's the little toothbrush there that it comes with. Quite cute. So I'm gonna give that a go this morning and see how it turns out. I have a feeling it might be one of those things where you don't kind of notice an immediate difference. I think you have to use it for a little while. So I'll do today's video and then I'll give you an update later on during Vlogtober to let you know how it went. I'm gonna sit down here for this. I'm a little bit afraid because I have seen this done on other people's channels and it makes your teeth very, very black. But um, here we go. <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside. Wish me luck, guys. Ah! Hmm. Well, I brushed my teeth with my normal toothbrush afterwards because it definitely left like a lot of grit in my mouth um, even after I rinse but I think you're supposed to do that anyway. I don't see any immediate difference right now but I'm going to use it for the week. I do like how clean it makes my teeth feel. Yeah, it definitely makes your teeth feel super clean and I have heard that using like bicarb and stuff, the abrasive factor does make your teeth very clean because it literally like rubs off the stains. I hope it doesn't make my enamel sensitive, but I'm but I'm pretty confident it will be fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll let you know how I go at the end of the week. I'm just going to use it every day this week, 
and uh, give you an update on that, guys. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried carbon cocoa or if you've tried a similar product and how you found the experience and whether over the long term you found it made a difference. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you know what's happening and you get the notifications about videos popping up on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.